And I think we need to understand that only about 10% of each generation actually serves in the military. So 90% of us enjoy the liberties and the freedoms that others um, ensure for us. Ronald Reagan um, had an, um, a phrase that said that uh, freedom is only one generation from extinction. And that's absolutely true. Uh, so most people have never served. Seal of Honor, I think, for those of us who have not served, gets into um, reminding us of what it is that um, that 10% that uh, does and, um, and, and reminds us that you know, freedom isn't free. There is a cost to it. Seal of Honor, what we tried to portray is that Michael Murphy was an ordinary guy that grew up just like you and I did in a small town, um, but made that conscious decision to serve. And I think that for those of us who have not served, this is our way of being able to give back to the families and to the men and women who serve by making sure that we read their story because as long as these men and women are not forgotten, as long as we remember, then they have that sense of immortality that their story does live on forever. I think we need to understand that anyone who volunteers to put their life on the line for someone else is a hero. So you, the, um, the, the medals and things, that is just a, um, a way to acknowledge heroism. But there are millions of people who have served in uniform that have unique stories that will never have one drop of ink written about them. And, and that's sad. But people are familiar with the Medal of Honor and they equate the Medal of Honor with heroism. And, and certainly it is our highest military award given to somebody for um, going above and beyond the call of duty.